This coroner's inquest was requested by the Quebec government after five people committed suicide in the Inu community of Washat Maliotenam over a just nine-month period. The coroner, Bernard Lefrancois, says the Aboriginal question is complex, but he says the problems stem from the Indian Act, which he calls archaic and outdated. It's an apartheid region. So you, you, you live apart, you have a system apart, you, you have a law apart, you have your... Uh, your own right and your own obligation that is not the same for the other community. So for me, it's a apart system. Le Francois says people who live on reserves are often unhappy there, but are fearful of leaving and losing their cultural identity and are unable to thrive. He makes about 40 recommendations, which include more resources in Washat, especially temporary housing where people in crisis or people who need addiction services can go. He would also like to see a suicide helpline with services in Inu created. Also, he says social media should be monitored to look out for signs someone is considering committing suicide. Le Francois says drug and alcohol abuse in the community is severe. He wants to see more collaboration with RCMP and provincial police to crack down on the problem. Several members of the community attended a meeting with the coroner today, including Rosalie Jérôme. She says she has lost 12 people close to her to suicide, and she knew three of the five victims in this report well. She says she doubts all the recommendations will be put into place. All she wants is for things to move and make sure that this report isn't just shelved. The political advisor for the community says his people felt listened to by the coroner and hopes that with this report, Canadians may better understand what his community is going through. Marika Wheeler, CBC News, Washat Maliotanam.